son of Chelsea actually just got back from the match and uh, wow how about that 1-0 in the dying moments I bet every Chelsea hater including Everton fan was absolutely gutted with that goal I'm sure Man City absolutely all Man City fans got in because that was an amazing amazing uh, last goal not an amazing <laughs> victory because to be honest it's weird it's a very frustrate it's like it's very weird to describe because I feel we were we deserved to win we looked the better side throughout the game uh, I think Everton had one chance really in the whole game uh, which I'll come on to which was a crucial moment really and also I, I just feel overall I feel that like um, it's a very it's another grind out victory and you know I'm sure there's gonna be loads of people who say who start worrying I've had a long debate coming home from the game with my dad about like this and about performances and how well we're playing and how sometimes you put the foot off the gas and stuff like that and uh, not having a killer instinct but I just feel with a lot of games you just have to win them and I feel Saturday was almost like Blackburn funny enough in the program today they had a feature on the Blackburn game um, obviously I don't know if it's a deliberate after the Villa game but truly I feel it was a critical another critical victory uh, we'll have Diego back for the next Premier League match so overall um, going into the game confident um, I feel that coming off of the victory I feel that was on Saturday that was going to give us a big boost um, and Luke Remy started Juan Quadrado started Williams started in number 10 apparently Oscar's injured Hazard out on, on the left wing Ramirez coming into the centre Fabregas was on the bench and I feel that that was a load of pace and one thing I noticed and probably out of any games at Stamford Bridge this season was how much space and time Everton were giving us um, I've never seen a team like even the likes of Hull you know teams like that where you're of course you're supposed to win and you cut them open and probably West Brom was I'd say were worse but just in terms of like um, the amount of possession they were giving us amount of time and space they were giving us um, was quite incredible so yeah I think as well um, yeah we, we just got into half time and it I think as the game wore on especially in the second half we came out looking just not really interested it felt like a very much windscreen wipe of football which is the worst thing you want where it's going side to side not much uh, penetration not much uh, we didn't have that clear instinct and I do feel of course when Costa isn't there Costa is very much he, of course he brings presence but he brings like other stuff like of course hold up play uh, bringing other players into the game I feel Remy isn't your typical striker he's very much of a, a modern striker in terms of like the false number 9 and I just don't feel that fits our system very well I feel Remy is a I, I feel he can help us of course because you look at his stats and he does score but um, as well I feel when, even when Drobber came on which he did come on later on in the game and I just feel as the game wore on it just looked like a nil-nil and it was just so depressing uh, to, and frustrating as well um, and yeah Everton got the chance Romelu Lukaku had a chance actually earlier in the game funny enough remembering it now he had a chance which uh, check saved it was I think a corner that came out to the wing crossed in Chelsea tried to play offside wasn't offside Lukaku literally had the ball could have placed it either way but check made a brilliant save and from there really um well, once again we're back on the attack side to side just trying to press and then it came out to Matic actually who just had a shot and Matic was immense today I've got to give him man of the match but he sh shoots and it gets deflected and Tim Howard who'd been probably Everton's best player um, making so many saves goes past him 1-0 and we of course we all go crazy but then uh, of course and, and once that flag went up, I thought, that's it, 0-0, ain't going to happen now, that's a typical 0-0, and offside goals go of it as well, we just ain't going to score tonight. And then about a couple of minutes later, um, William gets the ball, shoots, gets deflected and goes all the way in, um, and of course it all goes crazy, I feel Everton must feel deja vu, because of course the same thing kind of happened last year, scored right at the depth, all the players go bundling into the corner. And what a cr like crazy victory! You know we hold held on for the victory, but Matic for the third week and for the third like game in a row now for me he's man of the match. I he's just absolutely immense, and um, I just can't have enough praise for him. I think he's just absolutely brilliant. So uh, yeah, what a victory! Uh, definitely one you ain't gonna remember as like a, a classic, but um, definitely was a immense victory, Jose was on the pitch again after the match and yes, another critical victory, 7 points clear um, 
and just yeah, so thank you so much for watching this video guys tell me what you like and dislike about these reviews of course I've started bringing in match footage into the game which I shoot on my GoPro um, hopefully you guys like that it's another element to my reviews that I'm trying to bring and uh, yeah I'm going to be bringing um, some new content to you uh, this week which I, I don't want to hype it up or anything it will just kind of be on the channel and you can see it so thank you as well for getting me past 600 subscribers another land bulk the sun is growing um, and yeah thank you so much for all the support on this channel so thank you for watching this guys and yep I'll see you again